always been my passion. But the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. It makes the prep easy, and it also makes the cooking a whole lot of fun. From my kitchens to your tables. <laughs> Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. You ready? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. All right, Chef Curtis Stone is here. Of course, we know him from not only Amazing Restaurant, you see him on television, got a PBS show going on right well, now. It's called Field Trip. You got to watch it. It's so cute. And he joins us for his last two hours of a really great visit. It's been so much fun being here. Thank you, everyone, for your orders. You're not going to regret them. I tell you, when you get this stuff home, whether it was a Today Special yesterday, which we still have a few left, <laughs> yes. and the price only went up a little bit. So if you still <laughs> want it, you can still get it. I'm going to show you what you could get if you get that. But we've got a couple of things that will sell out in this hour. Yes. So I want you to be aware. My new beautiful oven. Now, I'm calling it an oven. It's way more than that. It's an air fryer. It's a convection oven. It's a baker. It's a roaster. It's a uh, rotisserie. It dehydrates. It literally can do it all. So that will we're going to air later. Gone, but that is will not make yeah. it. Right? And we're going to give you the item number also, right now if you want to get an early yeah. start on it. Because we are down to final quantities on that. Like 500 so, left. Yeah, that's, th it. that's it. That's, that's it. it. And then those are going to be gone. We and, love that, though. And I think there was only 100 or so of the black, of the if black. we Got still it. have it. Okay, very good. Um, oh, oh, no, oh, we're down to the just the red. Okay, the, okay. the black's there gone. You go. the, red, the red, beautiful, by the way. Oh, come on, Rocky, get it together, son. Rocky. <laughs> He's been just here for red. like two straight days. Just He's red, like, just okay, red. just red, and okay. we have under 500, less than five. So, so that's going to go, we have an incredible bread maker that we are going to demonstrate, but it will not make it through the demonstration. And you know what else we have? A mini food processor oh! coming up that's yes. new. We're going to we'll tell, tell you about, about that in a minute. That. But first, let's start with our loaf pans, too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, baking in my beautiful new convection oven slash um, roaster, which we have air fryer, I should say, as I'm making a mess. But the good thing is, it's all made of dura pan, so it all just wipes clean. Brilliant. The good news is, this beautiful loaf pan that you're seeing here. Now, I've done a lasagna in it. There's so many different things that you'll be able to cook. Let me show you how you do this. I'll put it down on my trivet, obviously, and then look at this. Because of the inserts, you can just lift that up and take Brilliant. it straight on through to the table. Super hot, right? Now, if this was a meatloaf, all the fat would be down here, and we'd be very happy that we'd gotten rid of the fat. In fact, we've done a lasagna, and I want the I want that sauce. I'm going to pour it back over in just a second, because that's hot. All I'm going to do is push that very, very gently, and see the insert just lift straight off like that. Now, the I, like I said, I don't mind that little bit of tomato sauce back over the top of my lasagna. Mm -hmm. Isn't that incredible? Oh my gosh, And so then good. I'm gonna grate a little parmesan cheese. My grater is brand new as well. You can pick up that if you like. Um, and then a little bit of Italian seasoning, which we've got in my new spices, which we've just debuted this weekend, right here. We've got two sets, we've got- No wait, the one set sold out, Rocky. I think the- they, 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 Did they put more make, in? They're making more. They're oh, making good. them as we speak. Oh good, because I had so. all zeros on the one yes. set. Oh, it yeah, did. It so sold we have out the... last night, yeah. and then we spoke. We spoke to them, and they're actually back there grinding more spices <laughs> as we speak. So oh, we will goodness. have them for you. Yay. So we've and got it's the world spices, and then you have the spices grilling. of the world, and then the grill collection. Okay. So that's the lasagna. Think about all the things that you'll be doing in this beautiful pan, right? So we've got right here a pumpkin bread, oh, and wow. if you look, this is what you used to do, right? You used to bake in this, whether it's a meatloaf or a pumpkin bread. And this is what used to happen, <laughs> right? right? And then you'd go like this, okay, let me pull this apart. Can I get it out somehow? Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't, right? But that was your reality. Now with the Dura Bake, this is your new reality. You turn it upside down, out she comes. Beautiful caramelization here, here, and of course on the top. And then have a look at the cleanup. Now, I can't take the credit for this product. It was one of our incredible customers that wrote to me and said, you make the best cookware. We love the Dura, we love the, uh, Dura pan. What about Dura bake? So, you know, we then decided to take that very same technology, put it into all our bakeware. So if you look in here, I've got the sheet pan. We have sets of two of those available. This beautiful loaf pan, of course. <coughs> Pardon me. We really do have a ton of different stuff. Sure. <coughs> Oh, you all right? You want me. some water? I'm fine, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking right, a lot just, these We've last got four of colors. Just FYI, we've got four colors available. Gold, red, <laughs> I know we have the turquoise, and we've got a fourth color 
available as well, Rocky, um, the dark gray. So we've got dark gray. Uh, yes. dark gray. So we have four colors available. Little uh, information for the rest of this night, we have five flex pays on everything from Chef. No and that, by the way, is ending. So if you want to use the five flex on any items in our two hours, that's going to be ending pretty soon. What is that? This is, that's a, this awesome. is a little scraper. This is a little Ooh. frittata or, or crustless oh. quiche, I would call it. That's and again, you know, beautiful. Have a look at the beautiful uh, flavors of all mm. those vegetables. Now, in what's there. the size of your loaf pan? Um, you tell me. I will tell you. <laughs> it's oven safe to 450. <laughs> oh, I thought it was maybe like, okay, so what this is, is nine and a half by five nine and a half by three. Nine yeah, half that's just great. Yeah, there you right. go. I just, it's pretty much a typical <laughs> size for a loaf Don't pan, right? Don't try pull me up on this. <laughs> Didn't mean to. Nine and a half by, yes. I know. Well, lots it, of, lots no, of different sizes. No, I think being sizes. is it's a typical size for a great loaf. Because how many people would you feed just in one of these, do you think? Oh, look, I mean, it, well, it depends on what you're making, of course, but out of this ice cream cake, a dozen. Right. Out of a giant meatloaf, ten. You know, so it really right. just depends on what it's you're a great making. Size. But really beautiful size, absolutely. Oh, thanks, Vanessa. Talking about beautiful meatloafs, <laughs> Vanessa, <laughs> that looks gorgeous. That was on cue. <laughs> on cue. Now, don't forget, you are getting both the pan and, of course, the insert. Now, the insert lifts up just like that. If you see me using these silicon mats, they're also available for you guys. You can pick those up as well. I use them as little. Um, uh, you know, handles so, so I don't burn myself. Oh, thanks, Vanessa. And then with this gorgeous meatloaf, look at this. Mm. Sauce straight over yeah. the top, okay. And that's a huge meatloaf, and that is feeding it a It sure crab. is. Yeah, a little big. bit of parsley. We've got a little bit of parmesan cheese. Thanks, Vanessa. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and grate that over the top. Oh Isn't gosh, it beautiful? It's so good. So, so good. And you you'll be able to cook like nice, this all the time. It's such a nice presentation versus yeah. just putting that pan on the, on, the, on the table. You're so right. Like, it's You're, lovely to come out on the table with the meatloaf outside of the pan. It is. Don't forget, we have sheet pans, we have little muffin pans, we've got popovers. <laughs> I think there was like a hundred popovers left before I came out here, so they What's will a sell. What's popover? Those beautiful big, like, Yorkshire puddings. Oh, seriously? You know, so they're like big, deep muffin pans, really, oh, or cake awesome. pans. that's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I love this. I don't know what that is, but I so love gold in my food. Oh, gold yeah, isn't leaf, it gorgeous? Little gold leaf. leaf over the jello. That's awesome. So that's a jello mold. And oven safe to 450, correct? Absolutely. Great. Yeah, you can roast in it, you can freeze in it, you can make custards in it. This is okay, a jelly or a jello. And have a look at what we've done. Oh we've just taken gosh. sparkling wine and then we've put raspberries through it. Isn't Stop that gorgeous? It. That is so pretty. Beautiful. Can I eat a bite of it? Can yeah, I have a bite? Have a taste. Oh my have gosh, taste. it's sparkling okay. wine inside Come here? with me. Oh, I'm eating. <laughs> oh, where'd you take it? Bring it back. Oh. Bring it back. Right here, gotta give you the oven first, guys, right here. So here's the scoop, it's coming up. We're down to one color, we have the red. It will sell out. Oh, that, that, that Jell-O thing ain't your mom's, you know, old-fashioned box jello. That stuff was great. This is gonna sell out. It's a rotisserie, it's also convection, it bakes for you, it's air fryer. It's amazing what this can do. We're gonna get to it later on in the show, but if you're interested or you saw it earlier, you wanna order it now, because I will guarantee you that's gonna be sold out. And I love the footprint on that, too. Also, my processor, where's my little food processor? While we walk past, I We're want you to see this. This is my beautiful today special from yesterday, yeah, okay? There is a few thousand of them left in a couple of the colors. There's all 14 pieces. If you wanna grab this, we're going to get a graphic up on the, on the TV A little bit you. later. We'll show yeah. it a little later. But I just wanted you to know that it was still And guys, available. that was a really big deal yesterday. It just was huge. And there are a couple left. And that still is a great value, Absolutely. even though we're past the Today Special. This is coming up. It's also oh, yeah. brand new. I'm so Beautiful. pumped about this. You created a brand new mini processor. Well, we brought out three new products this time. Okay, this, it's the, the air oven. fryer. It's gone crazy. The new processor, it has so many different attachments. You can grate, you can shred, you can slice. Of course, you can do all, the, all of the normal things you do in a food processor. And we brought a bread maker, which we are going to show you, but it will sell out. So if you want it, grab it before. Yeah, I'm just giving you a heads up. You guys have been very busy. We have, and it's been so fun. But you know, we get down to the end of the visit. And yeah. I'm like, oh, it's all starting. To <laughs> I'm, I always, I love starting his visits, and I usually, I love to end them. But at the end, we're always like, okay, what's left? Not much. Okay, I got to tell you, we launched these yesterday. Yeah. By far, my producer Rocky bought these, by the way. By far, if you are a filet mignon fa fan, like I am, this is my favorite cut of beef, you've got to get this set. And we've got a special price. Remember, all the flex pay is going to end very quickly because this visit's obviously ending. Ten pieces in one complete collection. Mm. You can even get this uh, and direct deliver it, which I think would be the right. coolest gift to give somebody. Have us ship it to someone's home for you. We individually package it. So when you see these beautiful five-ounce fillets, they come to you frozen solid, right? So you'll, you can hear them. 
you know, they come to you frozen like that. And the reason is we want it to be beautifully um, stored in your freezer for up to 12 months. Now, you pull out one and then you cook one. You pull out four, you cook as many as you want, right? Um, the beautiful thing is they come to you perfectly portioned. Wow. Center cut filet mignon. Beautiful marble, nice marble score, which means that gorgeous intermuscular fat is quite high. Um, so that gives you rich and delicious. But you don't have these big fat chunks on the outside of the beef because that's not what you're looking for. Right. Can I show you really quickly where we cut them from? Yes, please. Over here, my darling. <laughs> so this is the entire filet mignon. It has connective tissue and silver skin. It has little chunks of fat around the side. We get rid of all that. We do our butchering and we end up with this perfect filet mignon. Oh. Then what we do is we, we, we remove the top and the tail because we don't want to give you that as a filet mignon. We then go ahead and cut these perfect five ounce center cut portions. All right, so here they are. Beautiful five ounce center cut portions. Hand cut, everything is done. And then what we do is we freeze them and we deliver them to you. Okay. Can I cut you one so Please. you can taste Okay, it? so he did this last night. Oh, he started, he cut one. Oh. I couldn't stop eating them. I dreamed about it last night. I think They're I'm the only so person in the delicious. world that can say they have a steak cam. Here it is, my little <laughs> steak cam. So I don't know if you can see it from here, but have a look at that beautiful filet mignon. I mean, it is just so juicy and so fantastic. You just oh. can't believe your eyes. It's amazing. See how juicy and wonderful that is? He says, have a taste, my love. Yes, please. And go I've been ahead. dreaming about this for 24 hours. I have a spoon <laughs> here. And I'm oh, going to show you. It's so good. Why is it so good? Isn't it so tasty? Why is it? Well, first of all, it's grass-fed. Mm. There's no antibiotics. There's no added hormones. Look, I'm cutting through it with a spoon. Can you? I mean, can you imagine anything more tender than something that can be cut with a spoon? It's I mean, just look, amazing. it literally just pulls apart in oh. my fingers like that. Mm -mm. You know, and that's the beauty of the best quality meat possible. Okay, it's let me take a It's such a, a step nice back. experience to have a beautiful cut oh, of beef. Isn't it gorgeous? It's I mean, look, lovely. I clearly get excited about this, and I start jumping up and down. I started my career as a butcher, so to be able to stand here and share with you one of my great loves is a real pleasure, a genuine pleasure, because to me a butcher's job was always to go and find the best meat, treat it in the best way, and then bring it to their customer. And that's exactly what I do. You know, I have a butcher shop in uh, Hollywood, and I can show you a little video from that. It's called Gwen. We're on Sunset Boulevard, and yes, we have all the, all the celebrities and all the fancy people of Hollywood come to us, but I know not everyone can get out there, so I want to bring this to absolutely everybody. Body. So that's, you're having a little look at my shop there oh, on beautiful. Sunset Boulevard. Oh my gosh. And we literally source the best meats from around the world. Right. Now, when it comes to grass-fed beef, to me, there is nothing better than what you get out of Australia. Lots of space, beautiful, rich grasslands. And then, of course, when it comes to the actual steak itself, you know, this filet mignon, you can just see the tenderness. You can see the juiciness. You know, of course, we all know that filet mignon is the absolute most premium steak. Have a look at all that juice just mm, pouring out of that. I'm not even pushing down on it. I'm just giving you a little um, idea here. And again, I mentioned to you, it literally will just fall apart in your fingers, you know, never alone in your mouth. So very, very simple, very, very delicious. Chef, let me explain auto ship real quick too. Yeah. We've got auto ship on this. Once you get this, you will hope you're in the auto ship program. Oh yeah. Because it's just exceptional. The taste, the quality, everything's there. If you're a meat lover, we all love a great filet. Right. This is beyond restaurant quality. I mean, this is a five star restaurant kind of quality experience. You'll want to keep it coming. We have auto ship on this. You get to Secure tonight's price for as long as you want. You'll get it every 90 days. You guys can slow it down. You can speed it up. I think if you've got somebody that you need to impress for a holiday gift, maybe you're saying, hey, I'm going to give this as a family gift. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, do gorgeous. delivery direct. What we will do is, and you have two ship windows. You can ship now or we'll wait and ship it in December before Christmas. Send it directly to that person you love because either way, it's free shipping. Right. And can you imagine this arriving at someone's door? You oh. don't know what to buy a family. They're going to love this if they love beef. Oh, they sure are. Oh, I mean, yeah. have a look at this incredible, beautiful. juicy steak. It's just mm -mm -mm. so, so fantastic. How much research do you go into to find the right well, look, farmers to me, and the right cattle? Very, very important. You know, I go and I meet with them. I make sure I go You do. You farms. directly go meet them. Oh, absolutely. Because I want to see the animals and I want to see the environment they're in. Okay. I want to see that beautiful grass. I want to make sure there's a rising plane of nutrition in that grass for those animals. Of course, they're all free range. No antibiotics. No added hormones. You know, just the very, very best quality you can get. Now, 
How do you know your steak's cooked? Because we all know you stick it in a hot pan, you turn it after a minute, you get that golden brown on the outside. But what's going on on the inside? This is what you need. It's called my uh, kinetic energy thermometer. All you do is shake it because it doesn't take batteries. It works off kinetic energy just like your watch does, right? You'll see it come to life there. That's telling me 70 degrees. You go ahead and pull the probe out. And then what you do is you get your steak. You go ahead and you probe that steak. And it's going to tell you the internal temperature. So we're looking right here at 139 130 is medium rare, 140 is medium. So I know that this is right in between those two um, temperatures, medium and medium um, rare. Let's see if I'm telling the truth. What do you think? Huh? Between yeah. medium and medium rare? Yeah. Looks pretty perfect to me. <laughs> so every single time you are guaranteed, not only do you not need batteries, but have a look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's just Yum. gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. It's just so fantastic. Yeah, and you know, I was asking him yesterday mm. too, how much, if you go to your restaurant in Hollywood, how much would you spend to buy a filet there? Oh look, I think our cheapest steak probably starts at 40 bucks for the filets. For, for You're one. probably looking more <laughs> like 60 or 70. For a steak, yeah. It's you know, amazing. It's the thing about going to a great restaurant. You're paying for the lights and the glasses and the, you, you're paying the for the knives and forks and all of the labor and all of that stuff. But you know, you're able to create the same kind of quality experience at home for you That's and good. your family. Look at that steak. I mean, it is just so juicy and succulent. You know, I mean, can you just see the juice running out of it? Look at this puddle of and juice. And these are nice big servings, too. I mean, this really is fulfilling. You can eat oh, one and absolutely. you're done. And it's, you know what's interesting? You can get a bad cut of meat and you feel like, gosh, I got to eat a ton of it just to mm. sort of be satisfied. Right. Or you get really one superior quality style of meat and you're instantly satisfied after a couple bites. Well, let this me show you something. This is 10 in this collection, if all I was, 10. If I was cutting this, right, in a yeah. restaurant, you know, you, of course you're going to cut nice thin slices. By the way, this beautiful Santuku knife that I'm using is also available. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's call, look, it just breaks apart because it's so tender. <laughs> Let's call it seven slices of beef there, right? right? Seven slices of steak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I can count. Okay, now, you might say that's big enough for two people. Maybe it's not. It's not for me. I'm not going to lie to you. I want a whole steak to myself because I'm greedy. But you know, look, it just depends on you and your family. I've got two kids. They would need a whole one, so I'd probably split one for the kids. kids sure. And then Lindsay and sure. I would have one each, and I might even steal a slice of hers. <laughs> hey, let's talk a little bit about portion control too. I love the fact they're individually oh, yeah. packed. So if you really are doing maybe a high protein diet, maybe you just you know you only can you don't you just can thaw one. You don't have to thaw the whole thing out. Exactly. So you're not ruining a bunch of meat. You eat it when you when you want to. Right. Absolutely. Love that. Oh, and, and that's what's so great. Right. So let me walk you through this one more time. You're taking home all 10 of these five ounce steaks for 144 bucks. I mean, it really is astronomically good value. Then, and it's delivered to your door, and it's delivered to your door perfectly frozen, right? So you're gonna defrost one of these each time you want one, if you're cooking for two and you wanna serve two. But this is how they come. Perfectly frozen, rock solid, packed on dry ice, delivered to your door. So that makes these 14 bucks a piece. Yeah. Now think about it. If you were to go to a restaurant, right. when was the last time you had a $14 filet mignon? Never. <laughs> you never, ever, ever <laughs> can get it that cheap. When was the last time you had a $14 burger? I right. mean, come on, they're even let's expensive. Be, let's be serious. Yeah, exactly. And you're talking about really that finest of fine level. I'm telling you, the, the taste is amazing. You'll get these and instantly your mouth starts to water. Oh, yeah. You'll taste them and it's just an incredible, it's lovely. Mm. It's great to have great beef. I love that. Oh, so and I love good. the fact you dedicated a whole restaurant slash store to your love of being a butcher and of Absolutely. Meat. Well, it's named after my nan, Gwenny, uh, and Aww. she was an incredible woman who lived on a farm. She really cared about ingredients and where they came from. And, you know, she sort of really taught that to me um, and, of course, to my mum, who's actually visiting me right now from Australia. But, I mean, look at that gorgeous Beautiful. beef. Beautiful. So, you know, the thing for me really is when you're feeding your family, you want to feed them the best. You want to feed them something super healthy. What should cows be eating? They should be eating grass, you guys. Okay. They should not have antibiotics given to them. They shouldn't have any hormones given to them. They should be free to roam around a beautiful big paddock full of grass, and they should be with their mates out in the paddock. <laughs> and they should be the most amazing steaks that you've ever eaten. And I'm always saying, don't eat a ton of beef. 
really treasure it. Get some good really stuff. treasure it. Get yeah. good quality yeah. stuff that's yeah. good for you and make sure that you're really precious about it. And that's what this is. Oh. It's just the most precious, beautiful quality. All 10 guys, stay on the line for it. I know we're really busy in this hour. We've got a lot coming up oh, with yeah, Chef. All 10 individually packaged. Oh. Do delivery direct. Oh, you if you're that. shopping for a family, send them the whole thing. That would be yeah. the coolest gift idea. Steak knives. Steak too. knives available as well. Sell. More with Chef Curtis Stone. Stay right there. I love to eat, but more than that, I love to cook. I want to share my insider tips and tools with you. Take your cooking to the next level and join me for Your Kitchen Mondays at 8 here on HSN. Find the perfect gift this holiday season at HSN, like this six-piece gift set of creamy and hydrating shower gels from Corez. These nourishing gels provide gentle cleansing that leaves skin feeling soft, smooth, and moisturized. This Best Of collection includes all your favorite scents, like basil lemon, cucumber bamboo, and lavender blossom. Keep some for yourself and gift the rest. Search 678-998 at hsn.com. Find your Mary all season long at HSN. So glad you came. Thank you. Harris, it's time to go. One more game. Ah, this stays here. I'll be here you can next time. Okay. All right. Bye, Hey! Happy holidays. I love it. You got time for a quick game? Only if you like losing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not gonna be shy about it. I like to eat. I'm a real foodie. And I'm telling you, we've got some tasty foods and they've all been curated just for you. Grab a seat and join us. Good Eating With Me, every Monday at 5 p.m. Well, I don't want you to miss out on our exciting 12 days of Christmas. You wanna hurry because there's only four hours left to get six flex pay on all beauty items today. And that's only today. You wanna to stay tuned until midnight tonight, only four hours until we unwrap our fourth day of our Christmas special deals. If you'd like to make Christmas giving easy and you wanna get it done early, go to .com. If you wanna see what our deals are, just type in 12 days on our search bar on hsn.com. Also, in case you missed it, I gotta give you an update on our today's special. Last hour, we spent a good hour with Aaron really going through what makes this so spectacular. We have the most featured rich 15 inch beautiful touchscreen laptop that we've ever offered. The price is absolutely un unheard of. Tonight at midnight, it will go up $200. You will not have the flex, you won't have the free shipping, but right now you have it all. That copper you see on your far right screen, that is the number one best selling color that we've offered. It's got a beautiful marbleized copper keyboard, which is gorgeous and it's still available. I don't want you to miss out on the today's special because the deal is only good until midnight tonight. That is East Coast time. All right, Chef Curtis Stone is here. I always love working with him because he brings us the most amazing items. I was in the back. What did you I was like, I'm going to bring it. I'm, I'm coming up. It. I'm coming up. Chef, I okay. love this roaster. Isn't Boy, it incredible? Boy, when you decided to do a roaster, you were fooling around. Now, I called it the <laughs> ultimate roaster because it's the ultimate roaster. <laughs> it's such a great roaster and it comes with this incredible, this big V um, rack. Look at that. So that wow. turkey fits perfectly in that beautiful rack. Um, and of course that fits perfectly into your roaster. Now it's made out of forged aluminum, stainless steel riveted handles. It really is just the ultimate. And oh, thanks buddy. Sure. Um, and here, let me show you something. By the way, I also have these beautiful turners. I'm gonna sit it on the plate so you can get um, a nice shot And by shot the way, Chef, there's only 400 of those left. Oh, aren't they That's so it. special? Yeah. It's this pack of wood handle. I don't know if you can get a tight shot of that. And then these beautiful big forks. So these are what I'm calling my lifters. My little C's there as well, but they really are gorgeous. It doesn't show up very well, but the pack of wood um, is just such beautiful what kind wood. Of wood. Pack of wood. So it's actually got resin inside the wood. So it gives you the look and feel of wood, oh, cool. but it not, you know, it doesn't expand when it gets quality. wet. It's yeah. much stronger and more stable. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my um, my turkey. 
bring it on over here. And then I've got a couple of things about the roaster that I really want to show off. So first of all, let's remove the rack, that beautiful big rack that you're taking home as well. And then I'll put in a pour spout here, and here's why. The pour spout, you know, sometimes when you're, when you're roasting, you're also going to be making a sauce. So I want to be able to pour really nicely, right? So I'm going to pour all that juice off, leave the veggies in there. Hopefully I'll probably lose a couple, and that's okay. There you go, I lost one celery stick. Uh, and then what I do with the veggies is I pour the veggies right beside my turkey. Oh, nice. Because of course this is made out of durapan, this ultimate roaster, because of course if it was building the ultimate roaster, it had to be durapan. <laughs> because we love durapan for the cleanup, don't we? You know, so you just get in there with that towel, look, you give it a wipe out. This just roasted that turkey for three hours and look at it. It looks like it just <laughs> came like out of the box. It looks brand new. It you literally know, looks brand new. It's just so cool. So we still have it in the black. We've got a few of them still available in the red we as have well. We matte I red think. and it's a matte. I love the fact you did yeah. matte. It's Super cool looking. So matte red, matte black. I think the too. size on this is 16 by 13 by 3 inches with your 2 inch handle. They might have found a couple of hundred of those. I don't know if it's in our, our show or not. Yeah, it the is in the show. Can. The jugs so in if, the show. if they're there, make sure you pick up on those because they're nearly done too. Sure. All right, time for the ham. <laughs> you know, we've just jumped from Thanksgiving to the next big holiday. At my house, it's okay, Christmas. Okay, that is a giant ham. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh my god. But you know what? You're comfortably taking it in this roaster. And that's what's so cool. I was always like, I don't want to roast a where the ham's hanging off the side. Right. I want the roaster to be able to really um, accept the size of whatever it is that I'm cooking. About what size so is that this ham? This beautiful big it's ham. Big. Oh, look, that's probably a six pound, is it, Matt? Wow. Is seven it six? Seven pounds? Six, seven pounds? Yeah. Oh, no, it's like 16. Oh, 16? 16. Yeah, uh, 12. 12 to wow. 16, okay. Um, you know, so, you know, beautiful big uh, ham. Again, come in with that gorgeous big V rack. I'm gonna just move that over to one side. And then again, you know, look, look, whole carrots, no problem. Let me find the pour spout. I just have to turn that around. Hmm. There we go. And you've Gosh, got that, that beautiful so pour spout again that you can just pour out without making a mess everywhere. <laughs> Gorgeous. I know your mouth's watering at home. <laughs> oh, yum, isn't that great? Well, this is what we'll all, all be doing soon. You know when they sell the most roasters? the day after Thanksgiving, because everybody gets through Thanksgiving so and then says, oh, I didn't have the right pan. I had right. to use one of those flimsy aluminum well, I was gonna ones. Say, I wish we had one of those awful aluminums that we <laughs> all try to cook a big turkey in or a big roast in, and then it wobbles and it flips and then everything mm, spills right. out yes. the side of it. Those days are over. You know what I love, Chef, too? If you're doing, like, let's say you've got the football team. I was the mom that had a lot of football kids come over, and you were making a giant lasagna. Right. What an amazing amount of food you can make. Or maybe you're in your church yes. and you do a lot of cooking for yeah. the church. This this is great for that. Well, again, look at these beautiful spatchcock um, wow. chickens. Now, when I say spatchcock, that's just the butterfly that we've done. We've actually marinated them in a brine, crispy skin. Have a look at this gorgeous stuffing that oh we've gone and made. Gosh. Actually, I need a spoon. Here we go. Look at this. It's just crispy <laughs> on the outside. And look, that's the beautiful thing. Because it's that durabake, do you see how crispy that stuffing's gotten on the sides and underneath? Because you've got that beautiful heat conduction that we get in all of our cookware. Right. Next, I'm going to show you how you'll be using this as just a giant plancha or, or a really big griddle. So you stick the whole pan on. I'm going to season it up with a little salt. We've got our spices. This is the, um, the blackening spice that I'm putting on. But of course, you could be using the steak spice. You could be using the Italian. There's so many different spices. And that's from the grill collection. That's from the grill collection. Okay. Well, I've got the flavors of the world and the grill collection. So I've got... <coughs> You can hear that black and spice talking to you. It is, woohoo, Matt, that is good. Doesn't that smell unbelievable? Like the it's whole awesome. house, the whole studio starts smelling incredible the second that spice hits the... <laughs> Get you. It you gets you. Right? It is so delicious. Hey, Chef really Shirley spicy. says happy birthday tomorrow. Is tomorrow your birthday? Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh my Hi, gosh. Shirley. Well, Thank there you, you go. Guys. Shirley says happy birthday to you. Oh, that Thank is you. strong. That's some spice Isn't right that? there. <laughs> Why aren't you coughing like me? No, I don't know. <laughs> I just got a wolf of it. Okay, guys, here we go. Two colors. We have black matte. We have the red matte. I love that matte. Um, and you get that Dura coating. Explain the Dura coating because it is so okay. incredible. <coughs> that really yeah, got me. that's strong. So the Dura is the, the nonstick. We put five layers, of course, um, within, the, within the cookware. Now, one thing I just wanted to say was you might see me using this. This is my trivet. It's the carbon steel covered in silicon. I'm always dropping them in my kitchen counter. So don't stop at one, you guys. We're very limited on some of the colors of these, by the way. But I put those down, and you're seeing these big pans come straight out of the oven right. and go straight <laughs> onto there because, because nothing's going um, to uh, burn your, your kitchen counters. Oh, my gosh. Look
Look at this pork. Is that a pork roll? I mean, this is two pork oh, parts. Oh, Right, so I'm just going to break them apart using my gorgeous turkey um, lifters. So when you're picking up your ultimate um, so you're roasting So you're kind of using them as a bear claw too, right? Oh, yeah, of course. They're yeah. great bear claws. Look at that. You know, so oh just gosh. beautiful, beautiful. And think about this, case. If you've got the gang always comes over for the big Super Bowl party, they come over to watch, you know, a great game on TV, mm, you're yeah. really cooking for a crowd with this. Now, if you're calling about the turkey roasters and they're sold out, which I'm not sure if they are yet. There's they, less than 400. There's less than 400. So, yeah. look. Next, we'll be back onto these little bear claws. So we will still have something for you. Don't worry. Okay, we're by not the way, on the, turkey, on, the, on the turkey uh, lifters, we're down to 300 left. 300. And those are going to be completely gone. Okay, so gone. tell us when they're, when they're sold out so okay. I can start using the bear claws and show everyone those as well. But look at this, look at this pork pork. <laughs> I mean, imagine some nice buns sitting next to that and then, of course, some coleslaw. So delicious and wonderful. Oh, yes, Matt, look. All the steaks. Matt's just gone ahead and jumped in and turned those steaks. See how they're all gorgeously yes. co coloured? Every single one of them. Now, is do you have that over two of the burners or just one? No, let me show Get you. Get out of here. This is literally. I thought for sure you had two burners no, under there. Because look, there's just one round burner, right? And this entire pan. Oh, that's great. And it's heating perfectly evenly all the way through. That's great. That's because of the forged aluminum. We do it in forged aluminum because we just know how well it works and we know how well that food now, releases. Now, here we go. This is the okay. person who cooks for everybody. Mac the big and cheese. family, the team, whatever it might be. This <laughs> is such a beautiful thing to be doing. And you know what? If you're doing it for two or you're doing it for 22, it's the same amount of work. You just make a little bit Good more point. sauce, you cook a little bit more pasta. It really Freeze is. Freeze the leftovers, yes, why not? Yes, of course not? you do. Okay, so now I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to try it at least. I'm going to pour this out. <laughs> Are you going to go around the front? Because, of course, you would normally <laughs> just way. stick a spoon in it and you'd be like, them is ready, right? <laughs> That's Come all you'd on, be guys. doing. But watch this. I'm literally going to just attempt to give this a shake, <laughs> right? I don't know if the pour spout's going to help me, but I'm doing this because I want you to see the cleanup. Look. So let's let all of wow. that mac and cheese fall out. You can see the volume here, right? Now oh I'll go to my God. next plate. Jeez, oh, Pete. Jeez These Louise. are huge platters. Wait, you want to hear? Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got it all? Okay, I think I got it all. There, that's it. There we go. Now you can oh see. Oh, my gosh. It's two, two huge giant platters. But here, wow. was, here was the real reason for me doing that. Thanks, Matt. Look inside here, right? Out of that giant thing of macaroni and cheese, I can now wipe that clean. Can you imagine not having to do the dishes after making that much mac and cheese? Yeah, that'd be soaking for days in my kitchen. Right. It really would be. Well, look, with the Dura pan, everything wipes out. You've seen me do it a thousand times. We started with cookware. We called it Dura pan. Everyone loved it. The five layers of the Dura pan, which is the technology that we use, exclusive to us. You won't find it anywhere else. It is in here as well in the roaster. We've also got it on all of our bakeware. And just to give you an interesting stat, because yeah. we didn't bring it up, but I want to, it's eight times more non-stick than traditional non-stick and it doesn't have any of the bad stuff it doesn't outgas any of the stuff we don't want eight times stronger and more durable than traditional non-stick that oh, is just oh, no, the other oh way. i'm sorry darling. <laughs> i didn't know which way we're going with it <laughs> Thank i mean you, that's fantastic chef eight yeah. times Isn't more durable than traditional non-stick uh, uh, you know why because we really put all the time and effort into it at the beginning right. i said i want to create the best non-stick on the market i don't care and everybody said, well, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I said, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to. I'm going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. And we, we're going to experiment with it. We did it. We spent a lot of time researching it, just like we did our air fryer, which we're bringing to you today. I can't wait to see the reviews on that, because they're all going to be five stars. Such a good air fryer. Um, OK, so tri-tip. I'm so sorry, you guys. We sold out of this in my last um, airing. But this beautiful tri-tip, I want to make sure that it's, it's cooked the right way, though. You get your thermometer. You give it a shake. Why? Because it's made out of kinetic energy and then what we do is we take that probe I take the the probe and we pop it into the thickest part of the tri-tip and it's going to tell us how it's cooked it's reading 140 now that's medium have I got it right in the middle yep I sure have okay so medium Where I would do you have want thought it to be I would have thought this would have been medium rare but this is telling me it's medium so let's see whether it's whether it's telling me the truth now you know what the worst part Grab is, is you do something and then when everybody cuts into it and it's undercooked or it's overcooked right it just ruins the whole meal Look so it's that. nice to have that kind of accuracy Perfect without having to open it up medium. or cut it up. That's it beautiful. never lies. So that thermometer, look how juicy that tries. And you need is. no batteries. You don't have to recharge right. the darn thing. It's literally so kinetic right. energy like a watch. We do it's have a bunch of other things other than the tri-tip. We have the spatchcock chicken. We have those beautiful steaks. Go online and check out all of the meat that we have. We've got pork chops and bratwurst sausages, chicken breasts, <laughs> you name it, we've got it there for you. Really, really good. And guys, I want to show you, he has four of these, and then the whole base is potatoes. I mean, this is really for feeding a crowd. If you
you're the one who cooks for everybody, if you have the families coming for Thanksgiving, if you have and you use those lame foil pans and they're always such a hot mess every year, well, you know, you really should just stop and treat yourself to a beautiful roast. Oh, yes, roaster. you should. Yeah. Let, me, oh, let, let me show you these steaks, though, because once you take these out, you can see the gorgeous golden brown wow. on both sides of every single steak, right? We put that beautiful blackened spice, which almost choked me for a second there, but you know what? <laughs> It'll be worth it because it tastes so good. Look, now, you say, well, that's made a mess of the pan because we put all that blackening spice in. Yes, it has made a mess of the pan. Until you come in here, remember that it's a durapan and just do what you do with your durapan. You give it a wipe, you throw it in the dishwasher or you give it a real quick rinse. Look at that, spotless in literally seconds. I love it. And by the way, that's on a single burner. If you thought, oh, he's, he's, he's taking that over two burners, he's not. He, that's how effective the construction of your products and your um, pans are. Isn't it so cool? Oh, it's brilliant. All right, so we've done <coughs> over here this beautiful big bread and butter pudding. So, you know, again, you don't have to stop at one of these. And by the way, great everything lays yeah. in. A full half sheet pan lays in here, so it really is great to store things in as well. Once, you know, again, I'm dropping it on my trivet, that beautiful bread and butter pudding. Let me break into it so you can get a little look. Oh my gosh. Okay, because <laughs> the flavor of this is just I so, so good. I love the depth of this too. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. It's Absolutely really perfect nice. depth. There you go. So I've got a little bit of syrup, little maple syrup that I'd be doing right there. I've got my little magic wand, I call it. Where all I do is I push it, I scoop, I fill it up full of powdered sugar, and then I just dust away. <laughs> That's brilliant. Isn't that so cool? It's such a good idea, actually. <laughs> yum, yum. That's what the whole crew is saying. Okay, we all want to bite yep. into that. All right, please stay on the line for this. You have two colors. It's really easy. This is going to be your matte black, mm -hmm. and we all love the red. Um, when you do your cookware, it's always the number one best-selling color. Right. So we have the matte red available. The size on this gang, 16 by 13 by almost four inches on that depth. Oh, yes. That's why you're getting such nice big portions, because you get a lot of depth on this. Yep. And remember, this is available only here at HSN. It's got the Dura coating, and that's really the key. I was saying this earlier when we were uh, together yesterday. It is my favorite interior of any pan I own. Right. I've got a lot of different choices, obviously. You guys love you it sure too. Do. Over two million pans have been sold exclusively here in HSN. And Chef, thanks for doing that. Because a lot of oh, people have pleasure. stuff here and there. You only offer this here at HSN. This is the only place we do it. And let me tell you why. When I think about other companies, they've got marketing departments, they've got finance departments, they've got places where you have to go and showrooms, I think they're called distributors, they have rep groups that go out and try and sell their products. They sell to a variety of different department stores. For me, this is my little business, I love it, but what I love more than anything is giving the, the product to people at an incredible price. Because right. I want everyone to say, this is incredible. The product works so well, and it's such a great value. It's because I don't have any of that nonsense sense. This is just me coming to you and selling it to you direct. And HSN's my partner. I'm proud of our exclusive relationship and I really hope that you see the value in it too because the prices. This roaster should at least be 120 you bucks. Put, you could put a one in front yes. of that and that's a fair price. And then when you start yeah. working with the non-stick, it'll blow your mind. You're like, really? I don't have to soak that for the next three days in my sink? It's right. literally wiped clean, ready to go. Although they are dishwasher safe if you want they to sure put them are. in. You know yeah. the thing I love about it too? You don't have to baby these. None of it. You're about to see our today's special that we launched yesterday. There's a little bit left. You do not have to baby these. You, do not. you don't have to have special silverware or special tools or utensils. Just have at it, cook with it, and enjoy it. That's the beauty behind it. Can I show you this cookware yeah, come on, set guys. real fast? We're going to show you to you. Now, now, we have a couple thousand left. These you, sold like crazy yesterday. So huge. HSN have been so good to only put the price up by 10 T bucks. 10 more dollars than yesterday. <laughs> it's 199 bucks. It is all 14 pieces. There is six flex plays. You get three beautiful big, this is the first time we've done it, bakeware and cookware together. But you get the giant half sheet pan, right? Then you get these two minis, these two beautiful little super functional minis. Very easy to remember. We've got... <coughs> the two quart <laughs> saucepan, we've got the four quart saucepan with the buffet handles, and we've got the six quart oval stock pot. Look how gorgeous then this is. Then we've got three saute, isn't that ba amazing? Yeah, we I have three it. saute pans, nine inch crepe pan, nine inch um, saute pan, and a 12 inch 
oval pan. And right? your half court. And then this gorgeous, this is like my little baby. I mean, look at it in my big hands. I want to name it something. It's so it's cute. It's so sweet. It's only half a quart. It's a beautiful it's little so saucepan. It's so clever. In fact, I've got a little animation that just shows you everything that you're getting. Yep. And it also shows you how strong it is. So let me show you this. Very, very strong. We make it out of forged aluminum. We go ahead and put that stainless steel disc on the bottom of all our pans because we want it to be super strong. Work on induction, on electric, on gas, of course. It'll never warp or bow. Five layers of DuraPan. This is the only place in the world you can get it. Of course, you're getting stainless steel handles on everything so it can all go straight into the oven. And then it is just a dream to clean this Oh my this gosh. Stuff up. And guys, I have to say, I'm going to show you the colors real quick. Do not miss out on this. We literally went only $10 more than our today's special price. Crazy. You still have your six flex pay. This is a 19, almost $19 to ship it. That's absolutely free. Get it while it's still available. We're only down to a couple thousand yeah. left. Here we have the white we love. This is the deep blue. This is the stone gray. The white, there's only three dozen. Oh, that's gone. Wow. The stone gray, there's only four dozen Amazing. left in the stone gray. Then this is going to be your deep turquoise. There's your black. There's the red. And this one is going to that's be... That's the turquoise. Oh, that's the turquoise. Sorry. Yeah. This is the blue. That's the blue. That's yeah. the blue. And mm -hmm. that's the deep blue that we have there. Great. So the white and the stone are almost completely gone. This is the last time to be able to get it. This one's the middle called one slate, is called actually. blue slate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So blue slate officially. Guys, you got to see this. Tempered glass lids. The lids work mm. on the other pans. It is the biggest set chef you've ever put together yeah. for us, ever. And it's only $10 more than it was yesterday. It's so crazy. absolutely grab them. These two but are going to be gone today. Look at those These stainless two are steel discs gone. on every single piece, right? So that's where you're getting that, that incredible strength, right there. You can Steal hear the it. solidness yeah. of that. Of course, those tempered glass lids, stainless steel handles. The reason I put the oval um, saute pan and the oval stock pot is because sometimes you'll be doing asparagus. You might want to do a lamb rack. You might want to do a whole fish in there. So even though it's 12 inches, very, very long, beautiful pan, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful and shape. And it's the biggest set he's ever done. It's mm -hmm. the best price we've ever done. It's incredible. And I'm going to show you the value. it's the last set we'll be doing for, for, the, whole for, for the whole year. holiday this season, right? Yeah. So, and it's it's just, I think breaking it up as multiple gifts would be a great idea. Here we go, guys. So your total value is 282.16. It comes out to... Oh, and they're sturdy as all get out. <laughs> it comes out to about a little over $14 per piece, $14, that's incredible guys. Like, right, $14 per piece. You can't it's ever amazing. find, even if you go online and look at your entire collection, you will not find a single pan for $14. Right. There's no way, No right? way. <laughs> but you've got it and take advantage of it. Well, we got a couple thousand left. Hey, by the way, if you want an extra $20 off, grab our HSN card. You uh, apply for it if you're approved, buy that set and with the HSN card and you're gonna get an Thank extra you. $20 off. You know what that means? Right. It's actually better than yesterday's price. Oh my God. If you do that with the card, isn't that awesome? Unbelievable. Here, I'd love you to do this. And go online, because that really will prove to you how incredible that uh, pan set is in terms of value. Oh, There's the entire collection from Chef. You can see everything we featured over the last 24 hours. Oh, and look at all the customer picks, guys. And you know what? It doesn't surprise us. Yeah, the only thing that's not a customer pick are the new items, Chef. Right. <laughs> and they will be. They will be they soon sure enough, will. right? <laughs> uh, so check it out. And again, I think that really just emphasizes how awesome that big pan 14-piece set collection is when you see the price of just the individual pieces. For example, see the two big baking sheets right there? One of them comes in our formerly known as the Today's yep. Special. And so you can get a two set right there if you'd like to, but you get the big one included in that big set. That was a great set, Chef. Oh, isn't you, that beautiful? Really yeah, beautiful. No, I'm so really proud beautiful. of it. Really beautiful. should be. It's like this far from being sold it's out. It's so we sold close to being gone. 16, 15,000 of them. We've got a Yesterday, couple thousand yeah. left. Okay, so here we are. I'm holding my beautiful brand new Santuku knife hammered finish. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, you might not have a knife this good for Thanksgiving. You might be dealing with what's already in your drawer. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Maybe you pick it up and you're like, oh, that one's really blunt. This one is super blunt. Uh, let me try this one. Yes, that's blunt too. Now, I could give you a stone. I could give you a steel. I could teach you how to sharpen it. But guess what? It took me about five years to perfect it. It's going to take you just as long. Forget about it. I've got a tool for you that is right here that does it all for you you. Let me just show you something, all right? Let me let me find a really blunt one. Here's, here's, a, here's a blunt one. Let me sharpen this guy up. Look, I go one, two, three, four, 
five, six, right? So three in each side. Then I move over here. We number these for you. That's one, two, three, four, right? So we tell you to do it three times on the first two and then three times on the next two. You get all this information in the booklet and you create a beautiful sharp knife, right? This was just super blunt. Let me just prove to you that it is now gorgeous and sharp. Can you see that? Awesome. Perfect, right? Do you want me to dull it? Yes, please. Okay, because I want you to, I want to prove to you that it was blunt a second ago. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just ruining the blade here does on the steel. Does that make you squeamish when oh, you do that? It does. Let me ruin this one too. I'm going to ruin that one as well. You know, so I, w I really want you to know that these these are now super, super dull. Let me try that <laughs> trick with the tomato again. <laughs> not so good. <laughs> yep, not so good. Squashing the tomato doesn't work, right? Let me try it with a pepper. Does it? Can I even cut through that? No. Even, even something as, you know, normally so simple to cut through. Right. Let me bring it back to sharp. Okay, let me slow down. Here, I'm going to turn this around. We're starting on the course wheel. This is an aluminum oxide wheel. There's one there, two there. You're going to run it through three times each. Then you come over here to find there's four and five. You're going to run it through three times each. It is that simple. All right, I turn it back to me. Let's get this working. You'll see the odd spark fly off. That's normal because what's happening is that aluminum oxide is actually just wearing down that steel ever so slightly. So you can see how I'm pulling that through nice and slowly all the way to the end. Then you move over to this side. If you want to swap hands, you can. Now you're just keeping it on the outside of the plastic there, right? So it's very, very easy to put it in. So it takes about 45 seconds, maybe a minute. Turn it off. Now let's go back to the exact same pepper or that we just couldn't cut. Look at that, it's crazy. Now look at that, perfectly sharp. So imagine when it comes time to, for you, we couldn't cut a tomato a minute ago, could we? Watch yeah. this. That's crazy. Wait, Chef, real quick. Yeah. Um, just so you know, we have less than a thousand of these available. If you are like me, this is one of my favorite features. Mm. He's going to get to it, but I don't want you to miss out on it. I am a huge crafter chef. Oh, yeah. I will easily spend 26, even much more than that, buying scissors. I go through them tons because well, I do let, fabric. Let me show you. And I cut paper all the time. We put the scissor in here. You my can sharpen saying. your scissors. She's a crafter, and you yeah. can now sharpen your scissor. Look at that one. And our scissors are the most two. important thing we use when it comes to crafting. We're cutting everything exactly. all the time. Exactly. No, my mum tells me the same thing, right? and she's like, I, I can remember as a kid, I'd pick up her scissors and she'd be like, don't you cut with that! Exactly, okay. right? <laughs> These were blunt scissors, and now watch this. So for those of you who, ju if you just bought this because you have pretty nice, important scissors in your collection, Amazing. like you sew, you do quilting, get it just for that scissor sharpening. An Imagine how great your knife. knives are going to be. Yeah. An old fishy knife, a you know, knife. a fisherman or a hunter. Guess yeah. what? Get this for their birthday. Get this for their, their holiday present. Watch this. All right, we're going to get on the phones because we have a fan who loves your knives especially. It's Michael oh, yeah. joining us from Louisiana. Hi, Michael. You're on with Chef Curtis Stone. Hey, Welcome. Michael. Hello, Chef. Uh, Great to uh, see you. I'm um, sorry, the young lady you with, I don't know her name. It's okay. But, Suzanne. Uh, <laughs> Suzanne, how are you? I'm how very good, you, thank you. All right, my darling. Um, let me tell you, Chef, you yeah. produce some great products. Thank you so much. Louisiana, you have a Louisiana <laughs> spice yes. in your collection? Yes. We sure do. Uh, yeah. You said it's another country, and yes, it is, but I'm not bragging. <laughs> uh, most men in South Louisiana cook. I'm from southeastern Louisiana. That's awesome. Uh, Chef, you're an inspiration. I have met you before. Oh, no shaking way. your hand when you were coming through the Delta Crown Room Club. Yes. And uh, you are a real decent person. Yes, he oh, is. thanks, yeah. mate. You're yeah. real. Well to me. You That's are for awesome. real. Um, I did some chicken sausage jambalaya yeah. with shrimp today. Okay, and, uh, yum. I know you're into that. So. Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for what you do for us. Oh, Your mate, you're so are welcome. Great. I have them. I have endured the products. <laughs> and uh, you really, really do well. Yeah. Thanks, really Michael. Well, thank you, I really Michael. appreciate it, mate. Well, that it's nice so to meet you a second time, and I hope to see you in another Delta Airline somewhere. Um, <laughs> but good on you, mate. Thank you so much for giving us a ring. You know, it's so fun. We talk about Louisiana. I was talking. I took my mum um, and stepdad out for breakfast this morning. We went, and they're like, "What's grits?" What's, what's this? What's crawfish? <laughs> you know, we're, we're down here in South Florida. Right. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to show, and I'm like, there's just a world of food that comes out of that place. Absolutely. Louisiana is such a cool Some joint. Some of the best food in the world.
and we world. did. You know, I've, I've got flavors of the world. Is a spice set that I do, and it's, it's Italy, you know, amazing food mecca. Mexico, incredible flavors. Hawaii, we love the flavors of Hawaii, and then Louisiana, because to me that's the fourth country. That's that's the <laughs> Hawaii too. You Hawaii, made Hawaii yeah. a country well, as well. Hawaii is always a country <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> okay, red and black guys. Even if you have a single knife and you spend a lot of money on it, it's going to get dull. Why buy it? You know what a lot of people do? They buy Look, new knives. I'm sharpening knives. my screwdriver. But isn't it crazy to buy new knives just because yours is dull? We might right. as well just you get a great well sharpener. You might as well just get a great sharpener and you'll have new, new knives forever. So right. this is the answer. And we spend a lot of money on knives. And I don't care how good the quality is, they will get dull. For those of you, once again, if you're like me, I'm a big crafter. I just ruin scissors because I'm always cutting paper and cardboard and right. the heavy fabrics and all that kind of crazy stuff. Now, keep those expensive scissors nice and sharp. All you have to do is get the knife sharpener. I don't want you to miss out, though. We have now sold over 400. That means I have about 600 left, and wow. then this is completely gone. Here's the black, here's the red. You know what's nice about this? This is the gift for anybody who oh, has yeah. knives. Oh, yeah, Imagine for sure. that, everybody. Everybody Everyone. could really use this. Okay, so let me just show this to you one more time. I just sharpened this, okay. right? Watch this. Oh, gosh. This was a blunt, dull, dull, dull knife. I can now go through an entire head of salary. You know, I can get myself a beautiful um, tomato after doing that. See how it's holding its edge? It's not going blunt straight after, which is really important. That's great. Awesome. Okay. Gotta have it. We gotta move because we're going back accident, to sell out But a lot puppy. of accidents happen in the kitchen because of dull knives. Dull knives. That's right? how you, 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 you did, It's yeah. actually oh, super... Oh, we're going... <laughs> we have so much la going on. Like a bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know our left from our right. All right, guys, we're going to move on. Here we go. We're going to move on to the grill pan. There's a great story behind this. Oh, yeah. What? What? Here we go. Oh, Here wait a minute, go. Chef. We're about 10 minutes away yes. from the oven. We have it okay. in red. We've got it right it's coming here. up. We've been cooking with it for, what, 48 hours now. The thing's still going strong. In 10 minutes, it'll be the last and final chance to be able to get this. Just okay. FYI, because we're really limited. This Talk grill about pan your grill pan. is such Hi, a beautiful Rochelle. piece. How are you, Hi, honey? Rochelle. Rochelle, still do I have one, moving. darling? Here we go. Yes. Look at this. So, I've got this beautiful grill pan, and of course, what I've done here is I've put an induction base on it, right? Because it is the ultimate grill pan double handles you've got all those ridges down there so you can get the flavor of grilled meats all year long and then that beautiful stainless steel disc super super strong will not buckle will not bow and of course it means that you can put it on induction on electric on gas it is just the ultimate all right let's start cooking because we've got oh. lots to get through here what should i start with some burgers yeah you do burgers nice, let's do burgers first you want a nice hot pan i'm gonna what throw want, my Rochelle? burgers in here you've been working hard for oh, i've been eyeing the french oh toast. girl <laughs> <laughs> what bread did you use Maybe the french <laughs> you've been like holding that going bring it on <laughs> yeah also we have a grill press available chef oh, i know well, it's where is the grill press, Rochelle? do you have it's that like oh here we go yes, so yeah. here it is and this is what this is how it works you can see the those grill marks we actually make this out of cast iron and why we do that is because we want to put a little bit of weight down on those why burgers. Why is that? Why do you want some weight on well, that? Well just so it cooks nice and evenly you want to get maximum contact with the actual grill so you're getting all of that caramelization. If I was doing a spatchcock chicken would that be great for spatchcock Absolutely. chicken? Absolutely. Now here's the deal. I'm using aluminum to make the pan. I'm hanging that off my pinky. You'll go to say some companies and all they do is cast iron or all they do is aluminum or all they do is stainless steel. The reason is because because they're a stainless steel company or they're an iron company. I'm not. I choose the best <laughs> metal for the right, the right purpose. I want this to be lightweight for you. So we use forged aluminum. I want it to be fast, even heating. That's why we use aluminum. For this, I want it to be nice and heavy because I want it to actually sit down and make some and contact that on that grill. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Now, so, another thing uh, I think so amazing about sure. your pans, while they are very lightweight, they're incredibly durable. How did you pull off getting that just tenacity in a pan without having to be really heavy. Right, well, what I wanted to do was I really wanted to... Um, we've got a sea of cords down here. <laughs> no worries. He's about to trip over all Tell these cords. Tell me what cords. you just asked me. Okay. I said they're very lightweight. <laughs> yes. And yet they can take it. They're really oh, durable. Oh, very strong. Well, we put the stainless steel disc on the bottom. Right. And that's what we love about it. So if you're waking up tomorrow morning and thinking to yourself, I want to cook um, eggs and bacon, guess what? You can throw it all in the pan, right, just like this, and then you can slide the whole thing out just like that. The cleanup is the best part of all. Yeah. You're literally going to 
reach for a towel, you're gonna reach in here, give it a real quick scrub, and it's done. Now, if you guys have seen yesterday, we, Do we sold have any of those left a at all? crazy <laughs> amount. Of, I think we sold 12,000 of these. Yeah. We have just a couple of thousand left to go around. We still have it in which colors, Rocky? We've got the red, I know Do you know, Rocky, that. which we had? We started out with four colors, but I can guarantee we do not have four colors Thank you, mate. Sorry, we're we'll throwing questions at you in just right. a second. But what they're for is for the handles, also for the lids on our formerly known as today's special. You're going to see another look at it. They'll work on the lid tops, which I thought was Gorgeous. great. Rochelle, oh, Rochelle, French the French toast is, is done. Is that the toast out of our bread warmer? Bread. Our bread yes, that's the bread, bread maker. Oh, what yeah. kind of bread we did you make? cut it nice and thick cinnamon raisins. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> we cut it nice and thick, glazed it with maple as it was baked, as it was cooking. So serious. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. That stop was it. Wait, stop talking wait. dirty to me, Rochelle. <laughs> 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 He's starting to sweat. He's like, my, my. But guys, I want you to see, that was ooey, gooey, ooey, gooey, gooey. You you couldn't ask for more ooey gooey. Did you right. notice Chef cleaned that pan out with a cloth and it's ready to go with the next recipe? Right, so now I'm gonna throw some apples in here and we're gonna caramelize those up until they're nice and golden brown. Right, next, I've got those burgers that I'm about to turn. Let me show you, let's get a little silly here though, Rochelle. We've got a hot pan here. I'm actually gonna throw some parmesan cheese right on in and I'm gonna burn that. Then I'm gonna jump into an animation. Rocky, do we have the animation ready to show everybody exactly how we build the dura pan? We, well, we don't, but you know, look, it's, it's the exact same construction that we always use. Right. Forged aluminum, which gives you that fast, even heating. Then we go ahead and we use those beautiful stainless steel handles. The stainless steel disc on the base of the pan, of course, is what gives it all of its beautiful strength, and you can hear it right there. We put a pour sprout in both corners of this. Brilliant. Just such a beautiful grill pan. We call it the ultimate grill pan because it's the ultimate grill pan. Well, and guys, really remember that, that interior simple. is four times the strength right. of traditional nonstick. Four times. Imagine if your laundry could do four times the capacity. That's, that's an impressive upgrade. That's what you're getting in any of this. And when you see the big 14-piece cookware set coming up, stay with us if you missed it. It's $10 more than yesterday, which is, was our today's it's special. Close, it's the exact same construction close. inside here. You know, Chef 2, I think this oh, is thanks. a great way to introduce someone to your pans. Oh, it sure is. Right. Well, look what I'm doing here. I'm throwing cheese under my burgers, right? Now, normally you'd be waiting for that to melt, whether you're inside or outside but guess what I've got my little cloche here which is this beautiful domed lid that you can drop onto a pan like this you can drop on to an outside grill absolutely anything of course we can go straight to the oven because we've got things in there um, and you know when you're baking there's just so many beautiful ways to do it we've got this gorgeous spatchcock so chicken now I keep mentioning this spatchcock chicken because <laughs> I love it I do too. we are about to sell out of it another thing that I want you guys to pick up on while you're in the ordering process is make sure you get the trivet. It goes up to 500 degrees, you throw it over your kitchen counter, this red hot pan straight out of it's the oven. It's also a drying rack, by the way. Down. Yeah, you can Which, throw it over your sink. Right. I mean, look, we've got it set up in the back there. The back. All right, we're going to go to the phone you know, and say hi to Debbie in Texas. Oh, yeah. She has a question for you, Chef. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. You're on with Chef and Suzanne. Welcome. How you doing? Well, thank you for having me on and, and uh, being. being able to talk to y'all. No problem. I've called before. I am a Durapan girl. I yeah. love the products. What is it so that you love about this, sweetheart? I love the the, the uh, quality. I like the cleanup. I like the durability. I like everything. I mean, I've gotten rid of everything else I've had, and I have been using it. I did a try me, and I'm hooked for life now. Wow. So um, I've got uh, several of your dura pans and bakings and seasonings and all kinds of stuff. But I have yeah. a question, a quick question. Yeah, sure. Uh, I uh, have a five burner gas stove, and in the yeah. center, I've got a nine inch elongated burner. Okay. And I was just wondering on the um, oval pans yeah. that are in the Today Special, yeah. underneath they have a round uh, conduction. Correct. Um, Disc. It's a stainless steel disc, disc yeah. Put, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you put that on that elongated, because yeah. it's not, you know, Will I hurt the pan by using it on a gas stove? Does that make sense? It absolutely makes sense, and the answer is absolutely not. Here's the thing. Okay. That stainless steel disc is really there to ground the pan. It's to make sure that we give it the appropriate amount of strength 
because we want to make sure that it's never going to buckle or warp. The aluminum is such a great heat conductor. That stainless steel disc will let that heat through and you'll get that incredible heat going right through that pan. So you can use it on gas, on electric, on uh, any, any kind of Induction. cooktop. Induction. Induction, of course. Yes, yeah, so don't worry. Right. You, you will get just as good a uh, performance out of that on a, on a gas stove as you will electric stove. Long, round, doesn't matter. You're going to okay. love it. It's just that I didn't want to ruin the oval pan on the... Um I love burner. how much she loves elongated, it. Elongated, on the yeah. elongated burner. No, yeah. don't worry, you won't. Right. You All right, won't. Debbie? Now, if the handles okay. get hot, darling, because the gas is coming up on that, you need these, these little silicon handles, right. and I'm using those on all of my cooktop today. Now, have a look at what, while Debbie's been chatting to us, <laughs> look what's happened. Thanks, You're Debbie, catching for your the call, studio my darling. On fire. Great question. <laughs> look, I threw parmesan cheese in here. It's now black. Watch this. I can just go ahead and wipe that cheese straight out. There it is. There's that black cheese. I wipe it straight out, and my pan is spotless. Now, if you're just tuning in, I can use my stainless steel utensils on my grill without scratching it. Right. How can I do that? Well, because I built the strongest non-stick in the world. We literally went out, we said we want it, we want the best, we want the strongest, and that's exactly what we've built. I've now got my gorgeous steaks here. I just went ahead and put that beautiful steak seasoning on. Now, if you're just tuning in, these spices are gorgeous. We've got two four packs, okay? The spices um, come in two, two different types. These are the flavors of the world. So you're getting um, a blackening spice, uh, sorry, a Mexican spice. You're getting a Italian spice, Louisiana and Hawaii. You, you're also, and I think we've mixed these up because I'm looking here, that's a blackening spice, but it's flavors of the world. But anyway, don't worry. You're getting the, the four flavors of the world, and then with the grill, grill collection, you're getting that sweet barbecue, you're getting that beautiful steakhouse, the herb and garlic, and of course, the blackening. So there you're four. And just they're so all you know, they're, all, they're, they're really a big, big size, and we have that on auto ship. And I'll tell you, your grilling set actually sold yeah. out yesterday. Correct. I had all zeros. They scrambled, went back. Oh, we got some updates? Okay, good. Okay, oh. uh, the grill's done. So here's the what grill, happened. Yeah. We have the World Spice set, no auto ship available. Everybody, everybody snatched it up yesterday, so if you still want to get the World set, you can get it right now. Oh, we have sorry. a couple of hundred available. Yeah, it's really mm. limited. You, you have know to put what? it back into work on that one. If, <laughs> if you want to grab it, go ahead and grab it. We, we had to make some more, but maybe <laughs> they've got to They're their capacity. All gone. Look at these cheeseburgers coming out of my pan here. Now that cloche just works so beautifully because it melted all of that cheese. But now, of course, you're looking at this pan and thinking, well, I wouldn't want to be the guy having a clean that. Well, guess what? I'm very happy to be that guy because all I'm going to do is wipe through. Do you see 